Hello, hello. Welcome to the Maker Studio Facebook page. I am Cheryl. I create over on the home. I'm making Facebook page. I do a lot of projects over there using the AMS line of products. So join me over there. So today I am going to show you a resin project. We released resin about a couple of weeks ago, and it's such a fun medium to work with. I myself have never worked with resin and been dabbling in it for the last two weeks, and it's so much fun. So I'm going to show you this really neat project. Um, I am going to use the overhead camera at this point because I want you to see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to change camera views. So here we are. And the first thing I'm going to do is when we're working with resin, we always want to use some gloves and a mask. So I'm going to do both of them. And I'm going to put my gloves on. This is what we recommend. It's the best way to handle the resin and protect yourself. So today we are using a notebook form for the resin. Now, this is such a cute, cute project. This is the shape of a notebook. And it even has where you would put your little binder clips, which are also available with this mold. So let me show you what we're gonna do. One thing I've learned with working with this particular mold, since it's so big and so narrow, always work on a level surface, okay? Even when you're going to dry it later on tonight, make sure you have it on a level surface when it's drying. You're going to want that to um, have a level surface so that it cures flat, and level and straight because it's such a big mold you don't want it to be cockeyed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of our silicone cups now when you're doing the resin we have the A which is the acrylic glacier resin and the B is the acrylic glacier hardener this is always going to be a one-to-one -one ratio so equal parts of both. These little resin cups have little markings in here. If you could see in here, maybe you can't, there you go. You could see in there. So you do equal parts of both. Make sure that it's equal. That's very important when you're, you're mixing these two together. So I'm gonna pour in my A, which is the acrylic glacier resin. You could tell that that one is a little bit thicker than the hardener. And I'm going to pour both of them up to the same line. Because again, I want equal parts resin and hardener. I'll close my lid and then I'm going to take this one and do the exact same measurement. This one's a little bit thinner consistency. There you go. So because I only need this amount, if they were um, filled to the top for other projects where you're doing more than one, I would mix them together in a bigger bowl. But for this one, I'm gonna just pour one into the other, making sure I get all of the resin out of the cup. Because remember, we got equal parts, so you wanna use it all. Scraping it with my little wooden stick. Make sure I get it all out. And then I'm just going to mix it into the one cup. Again, I don't have a, a lot of resin in here, so I could ut utilize these cups for the mixing bowl also. So what is recommended is that you stir this consistently for three minutes. You could see when it starts to come together but continuous to do that, wiping down your side walls, getting off the bottom, and just keep stirring. Just when you think you're done, keep stirring more. Three minutes is about the time that it will get to where it's both incorporated together and ready to use. 
One thing I want to tell you about this resin is it does have a UV protectant in it. So it is a non-yellowing formula, which will keep your pieces looking fabulous for years to come. It's also self-leveling, which when we pour it in the mold, it'll start to spread out and it'll level. And plus there's no odor in this product. So it makes for a very, very fun medium to work with. So I'm gonna just keep stirring. I do have a timer on for my three minute mark. One thing also I wanna remind you of, get a lot of questions about how to clean your molds, your molds and your silicone cups, even your hands. One thing I would suggest getting with your order is always order Clean Slate. Clean Slate is a cleaner that you can use and to clean out the molds and the silicone cups. So what I do is, the best thing is try not to run it underwater, but what you would do is try to wipe off as much excess first of the resin in your cups and in your molds. And I would wet a paper towel or even a lint-free rag with the clean slate and just wipe it. And you will see how wonderful that works with removing the resin, the resin residue from the cups and your molds. We do have that on uh, the Maker Studio website also. Okay, so three minutes. I'm gonna keep stirring. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate things into your project. This is a pretty big surface to fill with some embellishments. So I happened to find a pack of, I guess they're paper butterflies, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, I think I'm done stirring. I'm going to put this right here so we could see what we're doing. So I had found some embellishments that I like. I'm going to add these to the to the notebook cover and I'm going to add a little bit of the gold leaf. So if you notice, you have these markings here, which would be where the rings go through when the resin is dried. These little, they're kind of elevated. That would give you, see that right there? That will give you a negative space so you can get the rings through here. Now, when you work with this, you're actually working upside down and backwards. So this is how it would look as a notebook. This would be your left to right side. So when you're putting your embellishments on here, remember this is your left side of your notebook and you're gonna do them upside down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pour a little bit of the resin in this mold. Now, the purpose of this is to get the whole thing covered with a little bit of resin. Now, this particular mold is very shallow. And one of the things you have to be mindful of when you're working with any mold is to make sure you butt the resin up to the side wall of every mold. So that's the first thing you do, is I'm just making sure that the, um, a little piece of glitter in there, making sure that the resin goes all the way to the side wall of your mold. As you see, I'm just pushing it to the side so it attaches to the side of the mold. That's what I'm gonna do first. Now, when I come around, there is a little space in between that little, um, little, thing that protrudes there, I need to get it on this other side. And the reason why you do that is when it hardens, you don't want any holes or any space. So I need to take it down here and then I will see what I need to add to cover it before I add my embellishments. So I'm just going around the side walls just to make sure I have 
the resin connected to the side of the mold. Again, I'm going to stick this in here to make sure some resin goes behind these little things in between the sidewall. Because if I don't do that, when I when the mold is hardened, that's where my clip is going to go. So I want to make sure I have enough resin on this side to hold those little clips. If I need, if I feel the need to add more resin, I will. I just want to see if I can spread it out first. I don't know if you could see well on the camera, but you can see some empty spots. So I'd rather add less than more. But right now I'm just concentrating on butting it up against the sidewall. Again, I got to come in here and get the other side. So you really only want to put about 20% of your resin in before you put your embellishments in. In this case, I'm going to add a little bit more down the center. I'd rather add, keep adding more than add too much. So once I see that this has floated over the whole entire mold, I know that I have enough. So I'm just manipulating it to run together. I don't know if you could see in here, but there's a big space that is empty. Again, I might have to add more, but I'd rather add more than have too much my first time. Since it is clear, you got to kind of look from the side sometimes just to see if you got it. So I'm just using the flat side of the stick to see if I can get it all to run together. And then I'm going to look at a side view to see if I got it all butted up to all my edges. Got to be mindful of the corners. And on this particular mold, you got to be mindful of this space on the side of those little protruding part of the mold. You have about 20 minutes to play with this. And then you'll know that you can't play with it anymore. So I'm actually looking, I just have a little bit more here. You can see where it's not totally covered the mold. I'm looking from the side. I can see if I have any spaces that don't have any resin. So as you guys hop on, let me know where you're watching from. And let me know if you've already tried the resin. It's been out a couple of weeks. You've had the chance to order it. And if you have, let me know what you've already made. Because we have so many different molds now. I do have some of my favorites and this is one of my favorites. The fact that this is going to turn into a notebook blows your mind. Okay, I'm just going to check. Again, if you have any little bubbles in here, you could take a heat gun or blow dryer from a, about six inches and just um, heat it a little bit and it'll get the bubbles out. I don't see a lot, but I'm just looking around. So now what I'm going to do is I am actually going to apply my embellishments. So here's what I have. I'm gonna put this here. And then I'm going to take this one and put it here. Again, you could have endless possibilities with embellishments as far as what you can add. We at a maker studio on 
the website, we have a lot of embellishments, dried flowers and such that you can put in here. All kinds of micas and glitters. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add a little bit of the gold leaf because some of that, those butterflies had some gold on them. I'm just going to add a little bit every so often. Got a little tweezer. Just going to add some sporadically. No rhyme or reason. Now remember, I'm working in reverse, so I'm upside down, and this is going to be the left hand side of my notebook. Basically, this is going to be the binder side. I do see a little spot over here that I need to get some. resin into. It's clear and working on a clear surface. Sometimes it can be hard with the light reflection, but definitely look, since this, such a, this is such a huge mold, just make sure you get all your edges and also just look at it from the side. Sometimes if you're working in light, it can have a glare. So just make sure you get all of your edges and you have no empty space the first time you apply your resin. Like I said, I've never used resin. It's a really fun project, product I should say, to use. I'm so, so happy that a maker studio added this to their repertoire of products. It gives you a whole nother opportunity for your crafting. These would make great gifts and they also make great um, things to sell. Okay, let me just add a little bit over here. And then I think I'll add something up here. So just looking at how I have it laid out, if I need to add more, I do. And then I'm gonna call it a day. Again, clean slate cleans everything. It would even clean my tweezers. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, since I have that done, and I'm just going to be mindful again to make sure everything is butted up against the sidewall. I'm going to now proceed to add more over my embellishments. You do want to take this to the top of the mold, this side. Every mold you take to the top. And like I said, it's self-leveling. I'm gonna let it do its do its thing, but I'm also gonna help it along. Make sure that it covers and then levels it out. Try to remove as much from the cups as you can. Also, so you don't waste any, but it's so much easier to clean your cups if you don't have a lot of waste in there. Again, the clean slate is your friend when it comes to cleaning your products. I'm just manipulating, trying not to move that too much. The good thing is it's not set up. So I'm just pushing this down and trying to get all coverage over the back sides now of my embellishments. And just make sure you got all your side walls done and all of your no air pockets, no empty space. You still have time to move your resin. I'm just going to put this container upside down while I move this around. Again, make sure you are definitely on a flat surface. 
make sure this is all covered over here again. So you can add any kind of embellishments to this, as long as they're not too thick, because this is a very, very shallow, like I said, mold. Just gonna get any last bit I have out and I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'm still looking, always mindful that there's no open spots and mindful that every edge is covered to the wall with some of that resin. So there you go. So now from this point, what you would do is let it set right? I'm just going to move it. And I want to show you something that has, um, we, we have that adjoin this notebook. I'm going to add just a little bit more resin to these cups, just a little bit, because I want to show you what else I'm going to make with this particular mold. Again, we're going to add equal parts, resin, equal parts, hardener. I don't need a lot because I don't, um, what I'm going to make is I'll show you in a second. I always like to, just to err on the side of caution, not to overmix too much because unless I have a mold ready, I don't want to waste it. So I made just enough for the notebook and now I'm going to make just enough for, let me show you, I'm going to stir this and then as I'm going to show you, so you get with this notebook mold, you get pens. Okay, so not only do you get little rings, you get pen inserts and then they come with these little molds that you could make pens. It's so so cool. So basically what you do is you insert one of these into the mold and I'll show you how you do it. This is like pen ink, right? You just remove this little tip and then there's your pen, right? See the pen tip? And you're going to poke it a little bit into the end of this mold down here. Now there's three different styles of pens. I already did this one that I poked it into the end. So I'll do these two right now. So again, three minutes, three minutes on the mixing process. And then you could add anything you want to the inside of this mold. I have added um, glitter. I have added leaf, but I'll show you what you do. So I went ahead and done them, done them ahead of time, but I'm just going to add some of this to the mold. I am being mindful because this is a really thin mold. This silicone cup happens to have a um, pour on it. Now these are going to come out clear, but I'll show you what I did prior to getting on so you could see what it looks like. Now normally you could mix some glitter in there, some mica. So this is what it looks like if you add about no more than 6% ratio to what you have in there of glitter, and this is how it turns out. So I didn't add anything to these, but you do get the premise of it. And see how that is? Isn't that cute? I did two of them. I did two of them with some purple glitter. So let me show you. This needs to harden. I'm going to move it to the side, and I'll show you a finished book. So you see the pens, right? I did add some glitter to it. They do work, by the way. There's the ink in there. See that? The, the ink. 
two different types. And this is a, one that I went ahead and done ahead of time. So this particular one, instead of putting the butterflies in, I ended up putting the dried flowers. It also comes with this pad. So remember when I said you're working to the left side of the, the book, when you have it upside down, be mindful. This is your left side. So when you put your, your embellishments in, you put them so that you can see them this way, upside down. And then this is your left side where those little divots are for the, or those little protrusions are. See how they allow to have holes in there to put your little clips in. You get this kind or this kind in your bundle. And then you get this lovely little booklet that you can put in there for paper. This means you also, if you could find the six prong paper in this size, you can refill it. I did go ahead and after I had this dried with this combination of flowers in it, I went ahead and made a clear one for the back. I didn't add anything to it. So I have a front, a front and a back to my particular notebooks. Isn't that so much fun? I can't wait to see how this one turns out. And then I'll um, add another notebook to it and some binders and see how it turns out. So here's the pens and here's a finished one. This needs to set up for probably six to 10 hours, but I would definitely, I just err on the side of caution and just keep it overnight so that I don't have to worry about, um, it not drying and not setting up. So take away, level surface, clean slate is your friend when it comes to cleaning out these containers. You'll thank me for it and also your little um, molds and, and these molds, everything. Also for your hands. Keep your gloves on while you're cleaning and um, don't forget level surface. This is a pretty shallow mold and you want to keep it on a level surface even if i was to move this somewhere else to dry make sure it's level so i am so happy to introduce you to this cute little notebook again we have embellishments on our home of my making page that you can add to the notebook i took some embellishments that i had actually found that were all different types of butterflies but you can look around and see what you can add. Or I could have done this all in the um, leaf. Or you can put many different things in. Just use what you have. Or again, you can order it online. But isn't this sweet? Give me a thumbs up if you think this is so sweet. And it's usable. I am so into usable projects on my own page that I, and I'm a notebook person. I'm a paper person. I'm a paper person. I love everything that has to do with paper and pens. So this is right up my alley. So thank you for joining me. I hope you um, get inspired to use this resin. The links are in the top of the description. And you guys have a great day.